Hey, thanks for stopping by the channel and checking out this video. Today I want to show you how you can accomplish some really good joinery without the most expensive tools in the world. Uh, we're going to be using a 3 8 inch dowel jig from Powertech and comparing it to the Festool Domino. In this video I want to compare $200 worth of tools versus one tool that costs $1,300 for joinery. So on the $200 side we have a pipe clamp one squeeze clamp, a drill, and then a dowel jig that comes with the bit, and then we have our wooden dowels. $20 for the pipe clamp, $20 for the pipe. This squeeze clamp is about $20. You can get less expensive ones. Your drill, about $100. You can get a two pack with a impact for about $179. This right here is $20. As you can see, I did make a little adjustment to it. So this is about a quarter inch spacer to get me a little more depth. And also there are many other dowel jigs that work great. I just personally like this one. Then on this side, we have the Festool Domino, which I believe comes in around $1,100. And it comes with the five millimeter bit. So five millimeter dominoes, I get about 400 of those for about $25. If you'd like the bigger dominoes, which are the 10 millimeter, you need to get a new bit, which runs about $60 for the 10 millimeter bit. So $1,100 for the base tool and the five millimeter domino does one job and it is amazing. I'm not gonna say that it's not. I love my domino, I use it all the time, but it's not necessary for everyone. So that's why I wanted to show you another way with some tools that people probably already have in their garage. So here's the piece that we're gonna be joining together. I already marked my lines on there and then I write O, 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 so I know which piece goes to which side. This side has X, X, X. So, that's why, that way I don't get confused on what goes where. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our block here. We're going to take our dowel jig, match up the center line with the line that I drew. So we'll take, we'll match up this line right here. Take our squeeze clamp. Now we're just going to drill our holes. Now we have our dowels on one side. And now we'll show why the pipe clamp comes into play here. You probably could use a different clamp. I just like the pipe clamp. It's worked great for me so far. All right, and you can see there we have our pencil mark. So we're going to set our dowel jig right in there. And then line up our pencil mark again. Tighten our pipe clamp right there locks it into place. I also try to drill kind of slow just in case it does move it a little bit. There you have it. So we just take it, flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Now we'll just do that with our other two pieces and we're done. Now we take our 3 8 inch dowels. And I always do a test fit before I actually glue everything up just to make sure that I got everything lined up perfectly because if you do move that dowel jig, it can mess with how everything lines up. But so far it is good. And if it does mess up, I just kind of bore out the holes a little bit so that way it's a little bit looser and the glue will take care of that. And now for comparison, here is the Festool Domino uh, drilling out the 10 millimeter dominoes for some table legs that I'm working on. As you can see here, um, it's the same initial setup. Basically, you strike a pencil line on both of your pieces and use that as your reference for the domino for lining up your mortises. And you can see here, it turns hours of work into minutes, so it's really nice to have. Um, I did not get this until I started my business and work, woodworking full time. So um, I still use the dowel jig all the time, it's great. Um, so that's why I highly recommend it to everyone because it's so inexpensive and it does so many great things for joinery. 
So that's all there is to that. So thanks for checking out the video. I hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful uh, showing you can use a $20 dowel jig to accomplish some really nice, sturdy, long lasting joinery with not the most expensive tools in the world, just a drill, a couple of clamps and this jig and you can do, you can build all kinds of stuff with it. So thanks for checking out the channel and we'll see you next time.